If you haven't heard of Azure Synapse Link, your Dataverse data can do more than you imagined. And today, Sama shows us in just a few clicks how Synapse Link creates a near real-time sync of your schema and data so that you can use Synapse to manipulate, connect, and analyze it. Today on PowerCat Live. Welcome to PowerCat Live. My name is Phil Thomas with the PowerCat team, and today I'm here with Sama Zaki. She's a program manager on the Power Platform team. Hey, Sama. Hi, everyone. How's it going? It's going good. Thanks for being here. So I think you've got one of the coolest features that few people know about, so we're going to change that today. But before we get to that, talk a little bit about how you got onto this team. Yes. Hi, everyone. So my name is Sama, um, and I joined Microsoft earlier this year after interning last summer and then graduating from the University of Texas last fall. Um, so I've been at Microsoft almost eight months, um, and I'm really excited to be returning to this team and working on Azure Synapse Link for Dataverse. And what was it like that first eight months on the inside after seeing Microsoft from the outside? <laughs> it was great. Um, I was really lucky to return to the same team I interned with. So it felt like coming back to a previous home. Um, so it's been really great to be back and to be working with everyone on such a cool new feature. And it is, it's a complex feature too. So before we talk about Synapse Link for Dataverse, talk a little bit about what Synapse is so people understand what it is. Yeah, so Azure Synapse Analytics is an Azure service that provides big data analytics and data warehousing techniques. Um, and it's kind of this unified central location where you can do anything related to data within Azure. Yeah, that's a big statement, but from playing around with it, it's true, right? Synapse says a lot. And yeah. so you've got Synapse, but you've also got all this data in Dataverse, right? That you can access over APIs and through the UI and SQL. Why would you put it into Synapse? So we see that a lot of our customers are trying to gain their own customized insights on their Dataverse data. So what they'll do is they'll take that data outside of Dataverse and they'll take it over to Synapse where they have both storage and computation capabilities to build their own um, analysis on that data. So it allows you to do more than you could just in Dataverse? Exactly, yes. So it gives them everything that they would need um, to do any sort of data warehousing techniques. They can also use that as just a data staging area before taking it somewhere else like Power BI, which we'll kind of get into during our demo today. Now let's go. Yeah, let's get to the demo then. So talk a little bit about Synapse Link then. So this allows us to connect Dataverse to Synapse easily. Yes, so Azure Synapse Link for Dataverse will create a continuous pipeline between your Dataverse data and your Azure Synapse Analytics workspace. So that means once you've set up the link, any changes you make to Dataverse, like at the source, we'll take care of it for you. We'll propagate it over to Synapse. And that includes any changes you make to the schema as well. So if you add a column, remove a column, we'll take care of that for you as well. So all you have to do is set up the link and then let the data flow in. So let's see it. Awesome. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Power Apps Maker Portal. Um, and under the Dataverse tab, you'll see that we have our own little tab called Azure Synapse Link. Um, and this is where you'll see all of your links that you've created. Before you even get to this step, though, I should mention your prerequisites are that you've already created a Synapse workspace, as well as an Azure Data Lake storage um, account so that you can connect all of your Dataverse data to those resources. So you'll go to select a new link. And then once you're here, you want to check off this connect to your Azure Synapse Analytics workspace. And then you can select your subscription, your resource group, specify the Synapse workspace name, and then specify your storage account that's associated with that workspace. And then you can hit next and you can select um, a table that you want to export from Dataverse over to Synapse. So we're going to select that account table and then we'd hit save. Once the link is created, you'll be redirected to this page and you can select the link from the list. And so then on this page, you'll be able to see that your table has synced and you want to make sure the sync status is active. And once it's active, you can use this button to go directly to your Azure Synapse Analytics workspace. So once you get here, you can expand the databases from the left hand side and then you'll see you have this Dataverse Contoso database that you can expand. Under tables, you'll find your account table is there. Mm -hmm. So once you're at the account table, there's a few different actions you can take on your Dataverse data that's in Synapse. The first action you want to do is select the top 100 rows using the built-in serverless SQL pool. Once the query runs, you'll be able to see the top 100 rows of your Dataverse data um, in Synapse. Another great option using your serverless SQL pool is that you can use this chart functionality. So once you go to the chart, you see that you have a multitude of different options on what kind of chart you can create and different ways that you can segment this data. And this is a really great option if you're trying to get a quick visualization to send in an email or to share with a colleague um, over Teams. 
So that's the first action you can take on your data. The next action you can take is actually loading the data into a data frame for Apache Spark. So if you select this option, what you'll do is you'll get a new Spark notebook. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with Apache Spark, it's an open source engine um, used for any sort of large data set analysis. So we're talking about a terabyte or more of data. And if you're doing any sort of data set transformations, like removing a column from an entire table or joining two tables based on a certain column, mm -hmm. that's what Spark is built for and what it's most optimized for. Um, so we really recommend this for our customers who are dealing with enterprise level data um, consumption. So once you're in the Spark notebook, the first thing you want to do is attach to a Spark pool. Um, and then you can start running and building a notebook with different uh, code cells. For the purposes of, of this demo, we've already built a notebook that has some interesting code in it. So what this notebook does is it reads on-premises data, um, and then it makes sure that that data was read correctly. And then we bring it over and we join that data with our Dataverse data. And then we write the new data, um, sorry, we write the join data into a new table in Spark. And this table can actually be directly accessible um, under the default Spark container, and you'll find that this table exists there. Um, so that's the second action that you can take on your data inside of Synapse. So from here, what a lot of our customers like to do is take their data over to Power BI for reporting purposes. So if we go to Power BI, um, under the Get Data and selecting your Azure connectors, you'll be able to see there's this Azure Synapse Analytics SQL Data Warehouse connector that you can use to connect to your data in Synapse. So once I select that and I hit Connect, it'll ask me for my server name. Um, so for your server name, you will navigate back to Azure so that you can get the SQL on-demand endpoint. To get your serverless SQL endpoint, um, you want to navigate to Azure and you want to go to the details tab of your Synapse Workspace resource. And you'll see that you have this serverless SQL endpoint. From here, you can copy this to your clipboard and then you can go back to Power BI and you can paste that as your server name. And then you want to select the direct query option to get live data. And then you can hit OK. Once um, you've selected the server at that point, it'll authenticate you. I've already connected to this data set before, so it's using my previous credentials to authenticate. And under here, I'll be able to see both my Dataverse data as well as the Spark tables that I created um, using that Spark notebook. So I can select account data and then I can load it in. Once the preview is done evaluating, I can load it into my Power BI report. So again, for the purposes of this demo, I've pre-created a report to kind of show you our happiest and unhappiest customers. <laughs> um, very simple report, but this is really a general use case we see a lot of our customers using. Um, so you want to go from Dataverse to Synapse to Power BI. It's a seamless process um, and you get near real-time updates when that data is changing at the source in Dataverse. That's a terrific demo. And I know there's a lot more that Synapse can do that all gets unlocked as soon as Dataverse gets connected into it. What's next for this feature? Yes. So we have a ton of new features coming for Azure Synapse Link for Dataverse. We're really excited for all of the growth that's going to be happening in this space. Um, one of the big things that we've been evaluating for the upcoming semesters is new data formats. So right now, the data lands in the data lake and in Synapse in the CSV format, mm -hmm. um, which isn't always the best way to do um, data analytics. So we're trying to look into providing Delta Lake format or Parquet format because those are columnar storage um, data formats. So they're really efficient for querying. They have really great um, compression usage, so you can get a very a much smaller file for the same amount of data that you would have in a CSV file. Um, so we're looking into those directions to see if we can provide better formats for our customers so that they get faster and better um, usage out of their data. And if someone wants to try this out in their own environment, where do they go? If you want to learn more about this feature and how to configure it, you can go to aka.ms Azure Synapse Link. Um, and that's where you will find all of the information on how to use Synapse Link and also different articles that are scenario based. So how do I get my data into Power BI? How do I use Spark? Those kinds of things. And we've got that link in the description. Sama, thanks so much for showing this demo. It's a terrific demo. I appreciate it. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. And I hope you guys will all enjoy Azure Synapse Link for Dataverse.